I'm at 8 Lincoln Avenue on the west side of Binghamton. It's my old stomping ground. This is the home, the McDonald home in the early 1900s. And the, uh, the other McDonald's, the children of them and the grandchildren live two doors up. Some of them across the street. They should have called it the McDonald block. Maybe they did. Anyway, this home is just so classic. It was built in the 1800s. This section of uh, Lincoln Avenue, there's a lot of 1800 homes here. And they have beautiful sitting porches, great neighborhood. It's just a block down the street from Kavanaugh's grocery store and the beef. And this home has a natural five bedroom second floor. It's a large home. There are five natural bedrooms on the second floor. There are two full baths. It is classic late 1800s, and we're going to go in and see it. But first, check out all of these beautiful homes of the west side of Binghamton. I love this place. Correction, this home I believe was in the early 1900s, not 1800s, because this piece of trim that you see at the top of the thresholds of the doors and the windows is like 1910, 1905. There's a Millard uh, Camelback staircase here. That's more prevalent in the early 1900s architecture. Anyway, beautiful hardwood floors. This is like a front foyer area here. Beautiful living room. The living room, nice and big. The windows are all original windows. So when you make the upgrades, be careful that you keep that architectural charm of the design of these windows. Here we have a very large dining room, a swing door that goes into the kitchen, these built-in cabinetry here, these corner cabinets with inlaid glass. I mean, there are, are tons of examples of, of the early 1900s here. The uh, property is just an oversized single family home. And there's a bonus room here in the back of the house. A lot of houses in this area, this would be a dining room, the size of this room, but we have two large rooms and then this, this could be a, a library, a den, maybe a first floor bedroom. It has a swing door to the kitchen. These old original cabinets go right up to the ceiling. Beautiful, I think they're chestnut. And just great classic stuff. I mean, look at the built-ins. Now this kitchen also has another dimension back there. There's a mud room or a first floor laundry. There's also a full bath off of the kitchen. And the first floor bathroom has access to that bonus room, which would give you a first floor suite or a, you know, like a mother-in-law. There are six natural rooms up here. Uh, should be actually like four to five bedrooms because this is a double room here, closet. This room does not have a closet. So this could be a, a nice suite for someone. Down at the other end, there are large bedrooms. We have a full bath on this floor. Beautiful hardwood floors throughout and lots of details in the trim around the doors. You know, more and more I see on the second floor signs of the 1800s. So I'm kind of at a loss here on when this was built. I'm gonna to have to get a hold of Jerry Smith, the county historian, and get his feedback. The full bath has a Hollywood access to the back bedroom and the attic is unfinished, may have some possibilities. 8 Lincoln Avenue, a early 1900s or late 1800s home with all the classic detail of a time gone by. This home is just up from Chestnut Street on the west side of Binghamton. And we have two full baths, a big living room, big dining room, like a library in the back. It has, it could be a, a, a bedroom. 
you have a first floor full bath, an old time kitchen with the original cabinets, just beautiful. It's a good home. Come in and check it out. Give me a call, direct it anytime at 607-725-2122 or go to thejohnburnshow.com and watch this video again.